Hey, what's up guys? Joker here and happy new year. Happy new decade. Yeah, that's right. New year, new decade, new news topic to get through in the world of tech. Today we are going to be uh, talking about NVIDIA and their upcoming Ampere architecture, which we are expecting to release sometime this year. We got a little bit more clarification on a timeline for when we can actually see the successor to the Touring GPUs, which we got a couple of years ago, which are still going strong. My 2080 Ti is still a beast for 4K, but who wouldn't want a little bit more power, especially if you didn't uh, jump in on the touring architecture and maybe you're waiting to upgrade. The good news is, is you won't have to wait too much longer as we should be seeing these cards sometime in the next probably six to eight months uh, is my prediction based on the information that we have here and based on previous timelines when NVIDIA has released graphics cards. So we're also got a look at what type of power we can expect these cards to be putting out and also how much power they may actually be drawing. So the source of this story is the Taipei Times who are reporting on this after an investment call and a client note from Yuanta Securities Investment Consulting Company from this past Friday where we got, as I said, you know, we got some more information on Ampere when we can expect the cards power and all of that as you know people that are investing um, in a company like Nvidia are obviously going to want to know what type of power they can expect um, you know from these cards and how they could actually benefit local firms over in Taipei so we'll take a look over on Taipei Times right here where you can see this was from Yuanta Securities Investment Consulting Company and they had this to say that the US chip maker obviously Nvidia is to launch its new Ampere based GPU in the second half of this year. Now that's around the same time that we saw Turing cards they launched in late summer of 2017. That's when we got our first look at those cards. So it's probably around the same time. I'm, I'm guessing they're going to pretty much, you know, pick up the same cadence, probably make the announcements all at the same shows and probably have a big reveal at Gamescom and we'll get a look um, at the Ampere cards a little bit more in depth as the year goes on in the summer we'll probably start to hear things so yeah they say that it's going to be launching in the second half of this year that could be any time from July to December but it's just my prediction that I think it's probably going to be around July or August just like we saw with the touring cards they'll probably start with the high end and then start to trickle out some of the lower cards whether or not they're going to be the 30 series or the 21 series obviously remains to be seen, but let me know down in the comments below. Do you think that, like the top end SKU is going to be the 3080 Ti or are they going to go 2180 and to stick with the 20 series of cards, kind of like they did with the previous gen, they would go, you know, every hundred numbers basically up or will they just jump ahead a thousand numbers because reasons. You want to also mention that this is going to be a rebound for NVIDIA as their sales were weaker than expected this past year because of NVIDIA digesting inventory. Now, obviously, that was a big topic when Touring came out. People didn't really jump on board and buy those cards right away, and NVIDIA was basically had an overstock, very likely because of Bitcoin mining and, you know, everything that was going on with that. So many GPUs, the, the whole price hike on GPUs and stuff like that that happened a couple of years ago. It was a bad year. Uh, for GPUs, especially if you were a PC gamer trying to buy a card and you were sitting there trying to buy one against someone that was getting them for cryptocurrency and then buying them online on eBay and prices were like double or triple in some cases, depending on the card, obviously. So it was a very difficult time to buy cards. And in response to that, companies like NVIDIA started pumping out more cards to feed that need of the crypto market. However, with ASIC miners coming on board for some newer cryptocurrencies, the need for, uh, you know, dedicated graphics cards were not as high as what they were before. So NVIDIA had a lot of overstock because of that and touring cards didn't sell well in response to it. Yuanta also says that NVIDIA's next generation GPU based on the Ampere architecture is to adopt the seven nanometer technology, which would lead to a 50% increase in graphics performance while having the power consumption. Now, touring cards were obviously on 12 nanometer as NVIDIA has been doing. Um, so having the power consumption, I think, is a realistic expectancy. So these will be drawing a lot less power. Um, but the 50% increase in graphics performance, I think, is uh, a little bit lofty in terms of their expectations. But hey, I would love to see it. If I could add on 50% more performance to what I have right now with a 2080 Ti or what any, anyone out there has with like a 2070, you know, bumping up to a 3070 and having 50% increase in performance, that would be absolutely huge. But I don't, I think, like I said, I think that's a little bit of a lofty expectation. I think probably somewhere around 30 to 35% is a more realistic expectation and typical of what we see from NVIDIA from architecture to architecture. 
but I would absolutely love to be proven wrong on that as another 50% would be massive. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on this news story from the Taipei Times. 50% increase in performance, having the power consumption, 7 nanometers, second half of the year. Leave me your thoughts down below on this. And I think, honestly, one of the most exciting things about this story is not just that the new architecture is coming, but you can very likely expect with, say, a 3080 is probably going to have performance typical of what we're seeing right now on a 2080 Ti. However, the prices will probably be more in line with what we're seeing right now. So you could theoretically be seeing uh, 2080 Ti performance in a 3080 at whatever a 2080 was selling for at one time, it was like seven or eight, yeah, seven or eight hundred dollars. They had some lower end cards uh, that were seven hundred, like blower style cards from third party sellers, like uh, ASUS and things like that. Third party, third party manufacturers, I should say. So we could theoretically see 2080 Ti performance for seven to eight hundred dollars, and that is definitely um, very exciting, especially if you didn't bite on the 2080 Ti and you want that level of performance, which is going to be. Uh, I think it's going to make 4K a lot more affordable, obviously. It's, that's really uh, the biggest thing I'm looking forward to seeing is 4K becoming more affordable and accessible to people because then more people will adopt it. Uh, I picked up on 4K right around when the 2080 Ti came out as I got a Predator X27 at that time, 4K, 144 hertz and all of that, and I absolutely love it. Uh, since switching over, I have not looked back, even though I was running ultra wide before this, I absolutely love gaming at 4K. So crisp, having the extra real estate, the desktop 4K is amazing. So I would love to see more people be, being able to enjoy that without having to shell out 1200 crackers to be able to, uh, you know, enjoy the experience and everything like that. So yeah, very exciting stuff to see. I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here though, guys. As I said before, I look forward to your feedback on this down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video or learned something new, leave a thumbs up on it. Subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. I was... I was I almost did a video on the 31st and I kind of wish that I did because I was if I did that I was going to say at the end of the video I'll see you next decade for another video. So unfortunately I didn't get to didn't get to live that out. But hey, we're back now getting fired into things in 2020. So I'll see you guys throughout the year for more news topics and reviews, all that good stuff. So make sure you're subscribed for it. Turn up.